but I've never talked with like outspoken atheists before. Are you? Outspoken? Yes, I'm very much an outspoken atheist. Um, funny thing is, I was I'm actually a former Young Earth creationist. Okay, whoa. Um, it was in uh, 2000. What's your name? Robert. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. No, go for it. Sweet, sweet, sweet. My name's Ty. Robert. Robert. Uh, I have a hobby where I set up a table like this in like open areas mm -hmm. and invite people to talk about whatever they want to talk about. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I get religious people. In fact, most of the time I get religious people. And they'll try to talk to me about the religion, yeah. sell me on the concept. We'll talk about the foundation of why they believe that. And by the time we return like to the top layer, they're a lot less confident as, as a result. My thing is I never get a chance to talk mm -hmm. with open atheists. I've talked with people who are like spiritual who say they're Christian yeah. but don't follow any of the tenets of the Bible who aren't comfortable with the A word, but I've never talked with like outspoken atheists before. Are you? Outspoken? Yes, I'm yeah. very much an outspoken atheist. Um, funny thing is, I was, I'm actually a former Young Earth creationist. Okay, wow. Um, it was in uh, 2000. What's your name? Robert. Robert? Robert. Robert, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Recorded? Too. No, go for it. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. Younger, former Young Earth creationist. Yes, sir. All right, talk to me. Yeah. In uh, 2000, I was actually studying to become a, a fundamental Baptist preacher. Okay. And I had, in, in the previous years, 1998, 1999, I was actually introduced to Young Earth creationism. And I was like, this is fascinating. And uh, I wanted that to be the reason I gave under 1 Peter 3.15. Christians right. are commended through that verse to give a, a reason for the hope that you have. Um, well, I started getting more and more into creationism, but I'd been studying astronomy since before I could walk. And so when I got to certain creationist claims in the field of astronomy, I was immediately able to pick out some things they were saying that even probably the age of eight, I could identify was just were just wrong, where they were confusing different uh, uh, different astronomical concepts. Could you give me an example? Uh, yes, absolutely. The one that made me start questioning the whole thing was there's a uh, young earth creationist preacher by the name of Kent Hovind. I know Kent Hovind. And he, um, uh, in one of his video presentations, he confuses uh, Big Bang Theory with star formation. They're actually two completely different things. And the textbook slide, uh, the textbook picture that he's quoting is actually describing star formation. And he's saying, no, this is the Big Bang. Everything started swirling, poof, Big Bang. Sure. And so I actually wrote him a letter saying, hey, I can recognize the mistake you're making here. I agree with this, you on everything else, but this one thing this, that you're this saying is, is This wrong. is something you might want to correct. Right. And I wish I'd kept the letter because he wrote me a letter back saying, re repeating his mistake. Good morning. And so this, okay, this is not right. So I decided to actually study, dig into what the mainstream scientists were saying a little more versus what the creationists were saying. And it turns out that more often than not, creationists were not accurately representing the ideas they were opposed to. Right. So uh, I... Straw manning, basically. A straw man argument. Yes, exactly. So I uh, dug a little bit deeper into creationism. And... Um, uh, when I informed my uh, Bible, uh, my Baptist college uh, classmates of this, saying, "Hey, they're making these obvious mistakes. I really don't know if we should be listening to some of, some of these people," I was chastised, and I was told that I was going to be forced to sign a statement stating that I accepted Young Earth creationism. Wow! So I just said, "You know what? I'm sorry. You're asking me to lie. I can't do that," and I walked away. So how long ago was this? Uh, 2003. So I am. Um, uh, so I didn't know what to do next. So I said, you know what? I'm actually going to sit down now and read the Bible from the cover to cover. For the, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sit down and read the Bible cover to cover. Mm -hmm. And what I found instead of um, all the things that have been preached from the pulpit all those years was a book that advocated genocide, slavery, murder. And I think I was maybe a quarter of the way through the First Testament when I wrote the, the, the Old Testament. Sorry. When I realized, you know what? I can't make myself believe this. So I set out to find my uh, own path, and I've tried to live my life since then by a, a phrase that I think is pagan in origin. Okay. I could be wrong. If it harm none, do what thou wilt. Okay. And uh, that, that's how I arrived here today. How did you get to the atheist label? It seemed to, since I no longer believed in a god, it seemed the most accurate label for me. Okay. Uh, theism being a uh, belief in a god, the prefix a meaning none, so no belief in a god. Do you believe that no gods exist? I would say that those are actually two different claims. I have yet to see uh, evidence of a god existing, but I, I'm certainly open to the idea. Okay, okay. How confident are you that a god exists right now from like a scale from 0 to 100%? The god character in the sky. I'm certainly on the lower end. I would say maybe around... Um, one two uh, one two percent. The okay. problem is the religions I've seen so far that preach this idea. Uh, I've not um, I've not seen where their claims can stand up. If 
I'm uh, if I'm presented evidence, I will um, I will certainly change my mind. But there are certain things like uh, there are certain things like uh, gay uh, gay rights. Uh, um, where if I'm uh, if there is an all loving God, He's going to understand why I set time aside to try to protect these people. Okay, sounds like I mean the position of. I'm waiting for better evidence to change my mind. I'm not absolutely shut to everything. Yes. I'm so open-minded, but I haven't gotten the evidence I need to convince me that it's true. I'll wait for it to happen. And until then, oh, don't forget your son. Until then, I'm at a low end of the scale. I think that's completely reasonable to be at. I'm wondering, um, there, are eight, there are theists who watch my YouTube channel, and they'll probably want to wonder, or probably wonder actively, um, where do you get your morals from? Like, how do you, what's keeping you from killing people if you don't have like a religious code telling you what's right from wrong? Well, that's actually a. Um, uh, Would you mind if we talk about that? No, not at all. Sweet. That's actually a. Uh, and if you say I do want to kill people, let me just to get a head start running. No, 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 not, <laughs> no, not at all. It kind of goes back to uh, that uh, phrase: if if it harm none, uh, do what I will. Uh, there's uh, going to come a. Uh, I, I, I've I've had to rely on a lot of people over the course of my life. Uh, to help me out at different times. So if I go out, so if I go out to rape, murder, and have my own way with people, there's a chance. There's a very good chance. I don't hope so that it's going to come back to affect me negatively. And so I don't want that negative influence to be one in anyone else's life either. So a, a little, a little respect will go a long way. Would you say if it harms none, do what by well is your foundational outlook of what determines what's a good thing from a bad thing? I would say so. Okay, I'm going to try to play with that a little bit. Okay. I, I don't really have anything set up, but um, That's okay. in the event of, like, say you were able to... Say there's a millionaire. He's got, like, a DuckTales vat of coins. He's dipping in. He will not notice if 10 coins are missing from that vat. You can take those 10 coins and won't harm anybody. Would you be able to do that without... I, 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 I wouldn't be able to. Why? What's the harm that's being caused? Uh, it's, it's not mine. I also um, have a... Um, I, I don't have a lot of debt. I don't have a whole lot of credit cards. I, I, um, I have had things offered to me, different loans, things like that. If I didn't earn it, I don't want it. Okay. And so that's why my car is kind of a my car is kind of a piece of junk. I could have uh, taken out a, a pretty good sized loan, gotten that. I would rather just save my money and and do the best I can with that. It sounds like the the system that you were presented before, where if it doesn't cause harm, do it, does not take into account this integrity that you're bringing. Out. Would this, some, would this be something that would you have you added additional things to this rule that you have? There's right humanity. things and wrong things Instead, beyond just the rule itself, people. like personal let's integrity, uh, personal property, and you don't want to violate that. Perhaps like say, transgressions against goodwill, um, things like that. Six, or it seems like this rule that you have is more complex than just the one that you stated. Yeah, and I and I totally get that. Um, it's more, it's more, it's more just a gener generalization. Okay. Um, uh, there, um, uh, I think a, um, I will certainly, a, 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 a good example of an exception to that rule, I think might be, might be the concept of war. Okay. If, um, you know, in, uh, World War II, I think is a great, a great example of that. You had, uh, I hope, I hope it'll be okay. It looks like it's holding up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really we had one over here blow over earlier. Yeah, that was ours. Sure. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think a great example of a uh, possible exception to that rule might be uh, in, a, in in World War Two. Okay, and you had an empire, uh, the, the well, Germany, going out trying to conquer all the lands around it, doing, doing unspeakable things to the uh, to those people that they uh, that to the to the yeah that would be that unspeakable things to the people that they conquered. Yeah. And I have to I have to hope in my mind that the um, one that the uh, one person killed in an act of war might have saved a thousand more lives. You don't know the groups are in your area. That the sacrifice of harming others was worth it to avoid more harm Correct. in the future. Correct. Um, and I'm just I'm just playing through some scenarios in my head. Yeah. What would you say then is, if you could give more time to elaborate on it, is the actual moral that you're following? Or set of morals that you're following? What's the system that you're using to determine good things from bad things if it isn't just that single rule? Do it. 
do as less harm as possible. Do, 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 do as little harm as possible. Okay. Oh, how about this? Because I know I would consider that like a negative system because you're you're talking about the things that you shouldn't do rather than the things that you should do. I'd rather the yeah, 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 yeah. things the ones that just avoids doing bad things. Just me personally. I see that. Though I wouldn't enforce only do good things. Like obviously, if I was going to start making laws, I'd be like, hey, I'd work on the punitive event. But as far as codes for actions that you should do, do you have a system for that? And I, maybe I can throw one at you and you can take mine. Yeah, yeah I can do that. Would you like to hear mine? Go for it. Um, I value goodwill. Take morality, throw it out the window. Take morals, throw it out the window. What I really care about is goodwill. And goodwill is a series of rules that we develop as like a social contract. I like living more than dying. I like being healthy more than being sick. Yeah. We can come up with a bunch of subjective, completely arbitrary rules, make a list and say this is what goodwill is. It's something that we've all in this society, in this localized area, or like as a human race, agreed on fundamentally as valuable to all of us. And we can make laws that either support those rules, goodwill, or don't. And so like if we prefer not to be killed rather than being killed, right. we should make a law that says don't murder people because yes. that seems to support goodwill. Um, and so what I would say is my value is the system of working with people to come up with a set of what are inherently arbitrary rules, but coming up with objective rules to support these things that we value as a social contract. And then once we have that, we can compare our objective reasonings to support goodwill against other groups and see who has the better system. So if we come up with a rule that says don't murder anyone, and people over on that side of the table say, well, we'll murder whoever we want, you know, give it a couple of years, and the people who murder each other will die out, and we'll stay around, and we can say we have the better system. So there's like ways of measuring who has the best system. And what I'm looking for is the best system that supports goodwill, and it's like a work in progress. What do you think about that? I can, I can certainly see where that's coming from. I don't know if I would set a group of people aside to uh, say to, to preferably uh, just go on mur murder. Yeah, I wouldn't want that either. I don't think yeah. they'd live as long. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I think when you uh, look at a courtroom setting, the, um, uh, the 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 grief shown from the uh, families, yes. you certainly caught you certainly caused a lot of us on there. They're never going to get to see their child again. They're Absolutely. never going to let her, let their see their child grow up. They may have been gunned down in a classroom. Whereas if we'd had a law set aside to um, uh, prevent that person from having purchased a firearm or whatever weapon was used, yeah. that life might have been saved. It yes. might have been a personal inconvenience for that person for whatever reason. Yes. But uh, personal inconvenience is um, yes. a price I'm willing to pay. I would even say your rule of do as less harm as possible would be part of the goodwill that I'm talking about. And I would just throw some extra things in there too. Yeah. Of course, like I have a right to my own kidneys. I could give them up to people, but I should have the right to my own personal property. Mm -hmm. If someone wants needs an abortion, they should be able to have that. If someone's gay, they should be able to get married. But just a big list of just arbitrary things to say, hey, social contract, we've agreed that this is important. Mm -hmm. Do I say now? Social contract, we just agree that this is important. Yes. And we don't need a God nor to us what's on there. No, not at all. Okay, that's more or less it. Okay. Thank you so much for the chat. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> I really enjoy the chat. Thank you. Go for it, go for it, go for it.